you know, if you've been watching my channel for some time now, you know that I'm an advocate of the Mike Austin method. Now, Mike Austin, if you don't know him, he was a real pioneer in long driving and in teaching, perennially making the top 10 in the Golf Digest of the top 100 teachers list. One of the big things that Mike used to advocate was the throwing the club outwards from near the top of the swing rather than trying to pull the club down by the handle. And in this video, that's what we're going to take a little bit closer look at. So stay tuned. Hey, this is Steve from HitItLonger.com. As you know, I'm on a journey to hit it longer and straighter off the tee, but also longer and straighter all the way to the green because as I've told you before, that's just what makes golf fun for me. So if you agree, you just want to hit the ball pure from tee to green, then by all means join us. Hit the subscribe button, like this video, and leave a comment down below. All right, so we're talking about the difference between pulling the club down with the arms or throwing the club head out with the hands. This is a major coaching difference between what Mike Austin was doing and a lot of other teaching out there. So what I want to try to convince you of today that is that pulling the club or pulling the arms down something like this or maybe even what Mike used to call harpooning taking the tip of the spear here and trying to pull it into the ball this way is not nearly as good of way of doing things as throwing the club head outwards from the top of the swing. All right now using this speed whoosh I'm going to show you the difference between a pull and a throw. So if I set the ball in the up position here Okay, and I were to do this and try to kind of get the handle and pull it ahead of the ball like a lot of people teach. See, the ball has very little movement. This white ball is kind of stuck on the inside of the hub here. Okay, but if I, from back here, I were to throw the ball like I'm fishing almost. Now, see, I can throw the ball all the way to the end of the stick every single time just like that by uncocking my wrist in an ulnar deviation with some velocity really easy for me to pop the ball down at the other end of the stick now watching me do that of course you're gonna say well that looks like a cast how on earth are you gonna hit the ball like that you're gonna run out of your top speed too soon uh, you're gonna gr ground the club too early you're never gonna have any forward lean anything like that therefore Steve you must be wrong and we're all right that you're supposed to pull the butt of the club past the ball so you can get that forward lean and compress the ball right well that's not how exactly how it'll work so before I go to my driver let's do this one more time and again you see yeah for sure if I just throw the wrist at it like this and I'm holding back my left arm to keep it from even attempting to pull so that's a good exercise for those of you at home who'd like to transfer from one method to the other. But what I'm going to do to get that swoosh back where it belongs, get my speed back out in front, get my divot out in front, get my forward lean back, is I'm going to be turning the body while I'm throwing the club out. So here's the out throw by itself, obviously too soon. And here is the out throw with turn. You see the velocity picked up quite a bit as I turn, but the location of the pop went from here to over here. Now, let me move this out of the way just to show you. I'm gonna look at this in slow motion and I'm gonna do more of a high speed swing and really make this thing swoosh. First, we'll look in slow-mo at just the wrist move alone, which looks like this, okay? And if I take it 180 degrees, it would look like this. Okay, so of course that's a backward leaning club. I'm going to hit the ball and probably hook it off my shin really bad. Okay, but now I'm going to make more of a full swing. I'll put the ball down this time. And you can see, you'll be able to see in the slow motion a lot of really cool things happen. So let's take a look. I'm going to make kind of a, a louder, faster swoosh here. And one more.
So looking back at that swing that I just made in slow-mo, <laughs> what's really obvious as I get down into the impact area that I've got a crap ton of lag and as I get into the hitting zone, I've got a ton of forward lean. So I am activating the hands back here. What you saw, what it looked like lag was an optical illusion. I really did start to apply torque back here, but at the same time, I'm also turning through it, therefore putting the pop of the ball well out in front. So that's how an outwards throw works compared to a pull down. So you got to get more body rotation into it. It encourages more body rotation, but what it's going to give you is unbelievably the benefits that this uh, gives you compared to trying to pull it into the ball. So number one, you're going to get more speed. Number two, you're going to get more square solid hitting. Number three, you're going to definitely get a better, more upwards angle of attack on your driver, which gives you more distance. So all of these factors are going to help you get it much, much further down the fairway when you uh, switch over from the pull or the harpoon to a throw outwards with the club as early as you can. All right, so I'm gonna get back to practicing my out throw, uh, get rid of any of the little bit of pull that might exist in my swing, but hopefully I will see you in the next video. Uh, thanks to Golf Development Complex in Moore Park, California, that's where I'm located. Uh, I've left my email down below if you'd like to get a lesson in person. And hey, I'll either see you in the next video or I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Take good care.